There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. The competition's a lot tougher now, so be careful. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlan King we're off for more of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix in the last episode. We went through the rest of Hollow Bastion, climbed all the way back up to where the Princess of Heart were kept before the Grand Hall. We opened up the last save point, and we fought a behemoth who stood in our way to see in the keyhole. But, even though the keyhole was sealed, Heartless are still running rampant, because Ansem is at large, in a new area that seems to be beyond in the deepest darkness. Before we go there, we need to prepare. It's actually one star above Hollow Bastion, and that star doesn't lie. It is definitely the toughest that we've got to deal with, and I fear that we're not going to be able to get there. Plus, if that's our final gummy route, there's going to be a lot of ships in our way that are going to eat up a lot of damage. But before we go anywhere, we need to go back to Hollow Bastion one final time. Why did I exit to the map at the end of the last episode? Well, it's because I need to actually go back to the library, and I don't want to walk all the way through the place again, and possibly get wrecked by, you know, enemies. But plus, we have to jump all the way down anyway, so we're not going to be fighting that often. So we might as well just walk to the library and save ourselves the trouble. Back in the library, everyone is actually hanging out around here now, or they should be at least. Yep, here they are. The group are here. Ansem and Maleficent were both possessed by the darkness. You know, I just don't get it. What's so great about the darkness? I have no idea, Yuffie. Anything else you have to say? This is my home, but it just doesn't feel like it. I can't remember, I don't remember much because I was only a kid. That is true. Remember, they said that they lost their home about nine, eight years ago or something like that. Yuffie, I think her age is supposed to be like 16 or something. So yeah, she would only be about seven or eight at that point. So yeah, she would only be a child. That's kind of scary if you think about it. There are no Heartless here, so rest up. Anything else? Can't get rid of the Heartless and rebuild this world. Yep, and that's it. That's all she has to say. Fair enough. So, yes. Leon and the group are here, except for Sid. He is still based in uh, Traverse Town, so you can still buy gummy shit pieces from him. But, sadly, we're not going to be in his services anymore after this episode, and you'll see why when we get to that point. But what I'm here for is that I'm going to talk to Aerith here. Sora, you should read this. Read what? It's the rest of Ansem's report. Maleficent must have collected it. She had all of the even-numbered Ansem report entries. We got number two, number four, number six, number ten, not number eight for some reason. And there wasn't a number twelve. Hmm. But we're not done yet. Erif has more for us. Ansem disappeared when this, fell, when this world fell to the darkness. It was believed he died defending people from the Heartless. But Ansem was the one who brought them here. Ansem waits in darkness, but here's a little light to protect you, Sora. Yep, after getting it, after getting all of the uh, Ansem reports, you have to talk to her two more times to get an upgrade for Kuriga. This completely passed me by, because after getting the Ansem reports, I talked to her again once, and I thought that's all she had to say. If I just talked to her again, I would have had the best healing spell in the game. We now have Kuriga. That is pretty much a full heal at our health, even if we're at 1 HP, probably. You do not want to miss this. This is why I wanted to talk to her. She gives us pretty much the whole of Ansem's report, and she gives us Kuriga. Crazy. Hello. This was once Ansem's castle. He was widely respected as a wise man, but darkness took him. He began experimenting with people's hearts. Wow. Hm, some wise man. So much suffering and ruin, and for what? Hmm. Well, he must have had some reason. We thought this was Maleficent's doing, but she was just another puppet of the darkness, just like Ansem. But the darkness is our real enemy, but how do we beat it? I'll tell you how. You whack it with a key, because apparently that's the solution to everything. I guess it's the key to victory. <laughs> well, first things first, let's purge every last Heartless we can find. Which is kind of pointless, because they endlessly respawn when you leave the area. Yeah, not exactly the best plan right there, but that is good for getting stronger. I won't use my real name until this world is restored. Well, it's Squall Leonhard, because <laughs> he goes by Leon at this point. Now, yep, that's all he has to say on the matter. Fair enough. I guess he just calls himself Leon as, like, some sort of punishment for himself. It's like, I'm not allowed to be known as my real name, because I, I was a coward. I didn't do anything. That's probably how he feels. And I get that. Kind of a bit of regret right there. 
Because he could have stood up a lot better, and now he's like he's pushing himself to do what he couldn't do before. As Leon. It's like an alias. But yeah, that's really the only reason why I had to come back here. That is literally the only reason. Belle was still chilling down here. Has she got anything else new to say? I'm pretty sure she doesn't. So many books, but not one on how to banish the darkness. Maybe it's hopeless. No, you can't think about it like that. You'll make your infinite light start to pitter-patter. Ansem desires the darkness. He thinks it's the source of all power. What nonsense. Darkness may shroud light, but it can never extinguish it. Sora, don't succumb to the darkness. You and the Keyblade can defeat it. See, that's that's not you losing hope. And that's yours he has to say. A little bit of a pep talk. So now that we've checked in with everybody around here, we've got one final stop to make at a certain location. I think you know what it is. I'll see you guys in a bit. It is, quote unquote, time to finish off Big Ben. We've got one more door to open, the seven hour door. We check our time, and it is that time. It has been almost 12 hours since we first reached the clock tower to open up a door. That was, that is actually quite insane when you think about it, because it doesn't actually feel that long to me. And that was like when we were still going, we just about to head off to Hollow Bastion, and now we just finished it on the final hour. So that means we've actually finished that area, as well as everything else that we've done so far, within 12 hours. We get an AP up for our final door. And, that's the whole clock done. If you come over here, all the lights are done. Every door has been opened. That is literally all that we had to do here. And we don't have to come back to this area ever again. This area is now completely useless. Donald, don't push me off the ledge. I know what you're all about. But, it's time to go off back to Traverse Town. We are here to buy an item from the item store, because we got over 4,000 money, so we can actually buy a new weapon for Donald or Goofy. So we're going to have to make a decision on that. Alright, what have we got here? So we can't buy Auric Alchemist right now, we're not bothered about those four now. The items that we're after is either the uh, Wisdom Staff, or the Grand Mallet. Grand Mallet! No, I think I know what I'm going to get for Donald. It'll be the Wisdom Staff, but before we even decide on that purchase, let's look at Goofy here. He's got an... let's see. He's got an Onyx Shield that we can get, which is actually cheaper than most other shields. Interesting. But we've also got the Adamant Shield. I think the most useful thing that we can buy is the Wisdom Staff. Powerful stuff that raises max MP by one. Also fairly good with physical attacks. It's just another palette swap of the Maga Staff and the Don Donald starting Major's staff, and it's just better. So let's go get that for now, and we do not have enough money to buy anything else that we do not need. Let's go have a little look at that. That is the wrong thing. Let's go to Lord Fortune here, and go up to the, wi the Wisdom Staff. As I said, Major Staff, one. Mega Staff is a three with a plus one magic, and the Wisdom Staff is a five with a plus one of magic. Sad thing is, Lord Fortune is just better overall. And you get that for getting all summons. So, yeah, that's, uh... Can't really top that, really. So he's going to be sticking with Lord Fortune. But we still need to buy every weapon in the store for trophy reasons, and because I just like having every item in my menus, if possible. Second of all, let's go into, not the accessory store, but the synthesis store and see what we can do up there. Don't need to touch the save point, I don't know why I did. <clears throat> let's see what we can make. I mean, we grabbed quite a few stuff, including some from Final Mix exclusive enemies, so we might have some stuff to build here. We still can't build the experience earring, which is a shame. Power Stone, Mithril Stone, and Serenity Power. I don't think we've ever actually encountered a Serenity Power, which is kind of funny. Why would you put something that early? Even though you can't make it. Kind of baffles me. Ruin Amulet. I believe that's like the Magic Amulet. But it gives you other sp boosts as well. We don't have any Frost Gems though. The Moogle Badge we haven't made before. And we have a Lightning Stone. So we can actually make this now. But it takes quite a bit of Mithril's and Oikalcums. So we'll decide that later. Let's have a look at what else we can make. A Gaia Bangle. We got an Omega Arts in the last episode by the way as well. When we beat the um, uh, Behemoth. So we're going to have to check that out as well. I didn't. I forgot about that. But we're here now, so we're making new stuff. So that 
requires a lightning stone as well, so we have to decide either a Moogle badge or the Gaia Bangle. We have to make a decision there. And that's all we can actually make, so it's either the Moogle badge or the Gaia Bangle. Well, if we know from Final Fantasy VI, the Moogle or the Melulu charm is pretty much what this is, and if we have this, Heartless will leave us be. So let's do that. Let's have a little look here. Let's, uh, let's see what I can replace here. I've got a rubber's belt, so... We got the uh, Omega Arts that we just got from the uh, Behemoth. HP boost, a plus three on strength, and a plus three on defense. So it's plus three on HP, strength, and defense. That is not a bad overall equipment, if I do say so myself. And if we didn't have the additional free AP being used on Sora already, this would definitely be a good equipment to give. We also have the Moogle Badge, which does not... Uh, stop random encounters from happening, but is also pretty decent as an equip, equipable item. Raises max HP, MP, and AP. So it gives us, well, if we didn't have Rummer's Belt on, it would give us 2 AP, 1 Magic Point, and 6 HP. That is a pretty decent badge, if I do say so myself. That is a really good badge. Or the AP, or the HP, or the Magic, that is definitely something I would give to Sora right now. Thing is, I need to dequip at least one ability, get one point back in order to do that. And I think we know what I'm going to dequip, the combo plus, my boy. So, you can not have the Rama Belt anymore. We only had it for that battle because, you know, with the Behemoth, that lightning damage can do a lot. But we had a 40% resistance, so it didn't do a lot to us. We're going to have the Moogle Badge on now. I mean, if we go for the Omega Arts, it's actually technically weaker, but it does prioritize strength and defense instead. But, I like my magic, I like my HP, and I like my AP. Strength and defense, we can deal with. Unless we can swap something else out, because White Fang is strength, defense, and AP. That will reduce us by another point that I cannot spare. Ray of Light is HP and MP as well. So I might be able to actually swap that out. So let's put it on about back on, actually. Let's see, there's Ray of Light. I mean, this will... You know what? That's actually better in general. The Ray of Light is HP and MP, with an enhanced to magic and summon. This is pretty much the same thing, but it also gives us more HP on top, and AP. So I'm actually going to replace the Ray of Light, and... Oh, I still can't do the Omega Arts because of that. Oh dear. <laughs> but that would actually keep my resistance, because we don't actually have any resistance otherwise, so I might actually keep the Rumble Bell on. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. We can give the, uh... Ray of Light to someone else. So the Royal Crown raises max MP but reduces strength. Does give resistance to all the three basic elements though. That doesn't do anything of the sort. This is for Donald as well by the way. So I'm trying to think here. Fire, Ice, Lightning Damage also raises max AP. But not Magic. It reduces it. Gives max, it, do, it gives 2 MP though. HP and Defense. Let's see what we got here. So that would lower his attack, HP by one stage. Give him a point. But reduces Defense. I can't really do that, so... Goofy's got a new equipment slot, though, so that's kind of cool. Omega Arts? Nope, can't risk. Omega Arts? Can't risk. Fair enough. If Ritz Horn is a fire damage with max AP and defense, can I swap that for anything? Entirely too sure. I mean, that would do, but... It's AP and defense I'm looking at. Holy Circle, it would give us more AP, but it'll reduce his defense by only one point. And it still gives him, it gives him fire, ice, and lightning resistance. So it gives him all the resistance. And if we leave the Raven's Claw on, that's dark resistance. So that might actually be better. I mean, it's only one defense loss. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Bugger it. Let's do that. Master Earring, that's AP and defense. So probably nothing because his AP will go down. Yeah, Guard Earring's just a weaker version of the Master Earring. So, yep, we're going to have to skip on that one. Raven's Claw, I'm probably going to leave on because that's pretty decent. Everything else seems to be going down more than up. So, yep. So we can pretty much just choose what we want to equip on Goofy right now, which will probably be the Ray of Light, to be honest, because the additional magic point. But I could also equip the Omega Arts. And he doesn't really need more HP, but the Strength of Defense seems very tantalizing at this point. We could bump up his H his fire uh, resistance by an extra 40%. Experience ring, but we don't really get additional experience, and it only gives him one point of magic in general. Dark ring, guard earring, AP and defense. That's even more AP for Goofy, but I don't think we need to really bother about that. Power chain just raises strength. Golem chain, strength, and defense. I think I might go with the Omega Arts. Yeah. 
Go with the Omega Arts, bugger it. Just give him the additional boost up. AP and defense. HP strength with defense. Defense. Um, and just resistances and AP. Yeah. So that is what we're going to do. So that means like Donald and Goofy have now got... In fact, I think everyone's got more AP we can use. Yeah, we have. Awesome source. So what do I want to equip? Let's have a look. Well, I can have my Sonic Blade back on, so I might do that. Yep, I'll do that. Donald's got two AP to spare. What can we give him? He needs one more point for MP Rage, which would be very nice. So... I'm going to take off Berserk so he has the MP Rage on, because that's better than Berserk. He doesn't need the attack, the additional attack boost, because he's going to pretty much heal himself. MP Gift, don't need. Evolution, don't need. Treasure Magnet, we don't need. He'd probably put one of his main attacks back on, to be perfectly honest with you. Because he hasn't got, he hasn't had charge in a while, so we can have that back on. We'll pop on Cheer. And he's got enough for a treasure magnet, I guess. <laughs> he's got a little bit more AP than he needs, but that's not that big of an issue at the moment. We'll probably redo all of our equipment later on. So yeah, that was quite a lot of stuff going on right there, but kind of needed to be done. But we were only able to make one new item. I mean, does he actually have a new selection of items that we can do now? No, he's still at 18, and we're still under 15 for a, ch for a trophy. Oh, you're a tease, my boy. You are an absolute tease. Okay. Let's go check in on Geppetto, see if we have a new ship ready to take for a blueprint. So, yeah, as I said, Sid's still chilling there, so don't need to worry about that. I was not moving, I was moving, but he blocked for some reason, that was weird. Pop in, talk to Pinocchio. Still haven't done that yet, I need to go do that sometime off screen. Ah, oh, sorry, look what I've cooked up this time. We got an Arif. Funny that, we just talked to her and she gave us a bunch of stuff. There you go. And that's it. We got one new blueprint. I'm going to meet you guys at the Dalmatian's house. We've done it. We have all of the puppies. I'm going to walk through the entire house because I came through the alleyway way. So I didn't have to fight so many enemies. Because we have got all the puppies. So I think it's only fitting that when we're walking through every room, I just give a little quick camera pan around. See where they all are. Because li there is literally... That many puppies, and it's funny really, you can actually see them de-render when, when you open a door transition. But yeah, all 99 puppies scattered around all over the place. And we have rescued every single one of them, free in every chest. And, now that we've saved every puppy, not only do we get our final rewards, but we get one last big reward that is probably one of the best things. If you like travelling between worlds about the warp gummy. Oh, you can't tell me that that's not worth it. Just for that cutscene alone, that is adorable. They're all huddling around Sora, who's gone out of his way to save them all and return them home. And you get that. I mean, what do you get for 100 gold skull tellers? Infinite money. I mean, okay, that sounds good, but you don't use money in that game. You don't use the money in Ocarina of Time. This is way better. This is so much more worth. And not only that, but they keep piling it on. Let's open up the chest and see what we get. An Ultima G. Because we didn't grab every item so far. A tech boost. And the... F oh, we got a powerful wind. We got a wind upgrade for more defensive capability. And the final reward for getting all 99 puppies is the full gummy collection. I can't check it in here. <laughs> God damn it! Why does it lock you out of pausing in there? It don't make sense to me, but yeah, we got the whole gummy set. Sid is useless. This is effectively build your own gummy ship cheat. We got six fire Gs, six fire Gs, basically maximum of anything possible. We didn't have 99 of these. We have 30 of these. I think you can actually bump those up a tad, but this is effectively infinite of everything. So I'm just going to show it off by scrolling all the way down. Because most of these we've seen before, but some of them we haven't. So we're going to have to obviously show those off at some point. 
We've got the haste and haste twos. We've got the shield and the shield twos. Both for sooners. I mean, look at that. Ten small cannons now. We can do missions. Eight small lasers. We can do missions. Ultima G. Nothing is standing in our way. And we get both the spray, the pallet, all the systems, all the computer levels. So 10 blueprints, 200 block level, power level 8 with an assembly area of 10. And the blueprints are sadly not actually added, except for, I believe, a few of the basic ones. But we still have to go get pretty much the, all the uh, cheap, all the uh, blueprints ourselves, because some of them are going to be um, exclusive to completing... Uh, missions and these special gummies down here like the wheel and the fang tree the horn the scissors They're just found throughout the game. They're not included within the full gummy collection, but other than that you have pretty much Every gummy block in the game except for the special ones from the missions We can now build some ships. We can have fun And we're just about a clock over this current hour, so we would have done a full 12 hours since we've last been to the uh, clock tower But yeah, we've done all that and that's our reward for getting all 99 puppies, definitely worth. So I think before we finish this off, I'm going to make sure that we have all the answer reports. I'm pretty sure we do. And if we do, I'm going to read them. And if not, we'll save that for another time. But we've got some more characters to view in our in our journal. So let's do that quickly. So I'm going to read all these ones out because these are Princess of Heart. They're quite of important and we haven't been able to see them since. And we don't know anything about them. So Snow White, a beautiful princess, gentle and pure as snow. I always find that odd. I thought it was because that her what skin was like very pale or something, I don't know. She's one of the princesses who needed to open the final keyhole and was captured by the Heartless. Her world has already been swallowed by the darkness. I think they all say the same thing, actually. Yeah, they do, kind of. I'm probably not going to read them all then. Aurora. So if you don't know Sleeping Beauty's real name, there you go. And, oh, okay, I guess that's all we're going to read because we've actually met the others. Fair enough. But hey, look at this. We've filled up all of our characters. Characters 1 is complete. Alice has been updated because we now know that she's a princess of heart. Well, the group do anyway. We already knew, but they didn't. Jasmine, she's been updated as well. She's a princess of heart. And we have filled up all of characters 2 as well. For Heartless, our beast Gary here, we're still missing 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven slots for Heartless. So let's go read the new one, the Behemoth. Immensely powerful Heartless. With their large frame, they trample enemies and repel most attacks. Damaging their weak point makes them lose consciousness. Strike them with potent attacks while they go down. Notice that it actually tells us how many we defeated. This was a boss that we defeated and yet it didn't poof like normal Heartless. It actually has a number. That's because you can fight this enemy multiple times in a certain area. This boss isn't actually a one-time done boss. Well, some bosses can still appear in the, uh, you know, in the, in the Colosseum as we've seen already. But in this case, Behemoths are counted as traditional enemies. Huh. Kind of like in Final Fantasy where Behemoths are normal enemies. Maybe that's the reference. But yeah, that means they can actually drop items whenever we fight them the next time. And with that, we've got answer report 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. So we're missing 8, so we don't have them all yet. 10 and 11. So we're not going to be reading the answer reports right now because we're still missing a couple. But we got almost all of the even numbers from just Aerith alone. And all of the odd numbers we got during our journey. We're still missing 8 though. And would be kind of odd if it ended on 11 so it could end on 12 or even 13 but yeah that's our journal and with that oh god the sniper wilds are here no i'm not ready to fight them <laughs> i was actually wondering why i wasn't getting into an encounter for a bit but yeah i think we are pretty much done for this episode so i feel like we are ready to just go on to other worlds and build a gummy ship in the next episode but that means that after the next episode when we deck our current gummy ship out with all of the best stuff and beef it up a tad for our final trip to the end of the world effectively in order to face ansem we got to have the best gummy ship around we're gonna deck out our best model 
with all the best stuff we got from this collection from the puppies, they themselves are helping us reach the final hurdle. But after that, I'm going to be having some fun building ships, just to mess about with, as well as, you know, start taking out some of the missions, but we won't be doing that for a little bit. In the next episode, guys, we head to the last area on our world map, give chase to Ansem, rescue Riku, and we still haven't found Mickey yet. With that, see you guys next time.